Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw, Editorial Director at TigerFitness.com. Getting ready to work right now. And Muscle and Brawn Nutrition CEO. Today I want to talk about the term ripped. It's got some interesting history, a history that most of you guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, do not know about. Back in the day, well, before I get into the history of the term rip, we all know that it's extremely popular, um, you know, phrase in the industry. Everybody wants to get ripped. They want ripped six-pack abs, that sort of thing. But very few people know about the man who actually coined the phrase. His name is Clarence Bass. Way back in the late 70s and early 80s when the bodybuilding world was, when bodybuilding culture was just starting to latch itself on and connect with pop culture, you know, with Arnold, with Pumping Iron, Back in those days when people were becoming familiar with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lou Ferrigno and Frank Zane and all the classic bodybuilders, there was always this one guy, this one guy that you would see in bodybuilding magazines, occasionally in bodybuilding books, and always in ads in the muscle magazines. His name was Clarence Bass, and he, he wasn't a big bodybuilder. But he, at the time, was ripped, ripped, ripped to shreds. Just crazy ripped. Just made all the other bodybuilders look incredibly fat, if you can believe that. Clarence was the definition of ripped. Now, this is, you got to remember, this is back in the late 70s and 80s. Clarence wasn't taking HGH and clenbuterol and Tren or any of that kind of stuff. Clarence was getting super ripped just from eating clean. He was he was kind of a trendsetter with complete clean eating. I mean, Arnold would drink beer and, you know, do all this other kind of stuff. And Arnold, you know, those bodybuilders weren't exactly the most ripped on the planet at all times. But Clarence lived a lifestyle that was completely clean. And his uh, he he started to put out books called the they, they had ripped in the series. It was basically his brand. His brand was ripped. Now I really encourage you guys to hit Amazon, check out Clarence Bass, check out all of his books. He's got some great books on lifting, nutrition. Google Clarence Bass. Now another interesting fact about Clarence Bass. There's many interesting facts about Clarence Bass. First off, he is over the age of 70, and he's still ripped. You can see his transition through the years. He is still ripped as he approaches 80. The guy is phenomenal. You can find pictures of him on the web. He maintains an old-school website um, wh where he writes a lot of articles. Clarence was one of the... Uh, he was also a leader in the science end of things. You could probably call him a science nerd. He was probably the original science geek. But he was a science geek who backed up his stuff with a body. Clarence um, has just tons of well-thought-out articles on his website. I have no affiliation with Clarence, you know, mainly presenting this information to you guys as a history lesson for you guys to check him out. But go check out his website. Just great science-based stuff. Clarence reads all the studies. He still puts together articles in his 70s you know, that are science-based, based on training and nutrition and all that good stuff. Just an incredible wealth of resources on his site. I had an opportunity to interview Clarence Bass about five years ago, and he was an incredibly kind and gracious individual. Um, he's out there in New Mexico. I hope one day I can stop and see him before his time on this earth is done. But at the at the pace Clarence is at, he's going to live to be 100 years old. One of the interesting things Clarence told me, we were talking about testosterone levels and age. Clarence has, eat, has eaten healthy for so long, for so long, that he still has normal testosterone levels. He gets them checked frequently, you know, as, he, as, as he's approaching the age of 80. So guys, that's the history of Rip. Clarence Bass was always featured in these muscle magazines. He was putting out these books, Ripped, Rip 2, Rip 3, I believe. He was the guy that coined the phrase Ripped. And 
you know, he gets no credit at all these days, but his books were ripped and he, his books were titled ripped and he was the, is a very definition of ripped. You probably won't find a more ripped 75, 77 year old gentleman on the planet. And if you look back at his old pictures and compare to Arnold, you can tell he, Clarence Bass, was Mr. Rip. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, guys, there's a Q&A link below. Come on over, post your questions in that Q&A link. I answer every question posted. If you've made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. And if you want to connect with the big, hairy, ugly dude on social, there's all kinds of links from Twitter to Instagram to Periscope. You can actually watch me lift and Snapchat. You can watch my zany antics during the day. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.